So this is part two um, of the, the work I did on the old Falcon. So basically, um, you'll see this in the first video when it links to the second one anyway. So what I've done, I've actually painted all this as well, all the trim. While it was all out, I repainted it and made it all pretty. Um, you can buy paint that's off the shelf. This stuff, you can buy it from the suppliers. You just Google paint aftermarket and stuff. Um, so you can get all your once all your trims out, go and give it a good coat of coat of paint, make it all pretty. Um, it comes up brilliant. Mine was actually pretty old looking. Ah, she, she's all new. Yeah, it looks bloody spot on. So, um, so like I said, that you got to measure that carpet right. Um, the carpet has to be measured right, so it fits with this trim. Um, cutting it too short, you'll obviously be bad. You'll just throw that out and start again, or get an in, insert. Um, and go from there so once the seats are done obviously bolt them all back up and do all that so I replaced the rear speakers as well um, so with the rear speaker sorry about the reflection but I can't put the phone in there um, so there's, there's the uh, back parcel shelf here this is wood um, modern speakers are generally four holes um, and the old originals are only three so what I did I pulled that out pulled out the parcel shelf while I had the back seat out there's three screws one two three you get to them from the inside with your hand pull it out um, measure where you want to be you'll see where the old holes are put the new speakers in and find screws that are exactly just come through the wood don't, don't don't put screws in too long because what happens is when you put your parcel shelf back in it sits upwards um, that's because the it's all metal it's got enough room for the speakers and the three original holes and that's it so just buy screws and it works fine it works fine um, so at the same time yeah, if you really want you could change if you don't have retractables you could change the retractable seat belts in the back too you can buy them everywhere um, you can do that that's just one bolt one bolt here and one bolt down there very easy job um, and you can put a set of retractables in the back seat which would be cool um, right so speakers done so electric aerial I changed the electric aerials mine did not go up um, I did the stereo at the same time now um, oh, she's a bit dark anyway so with the stereo you gotta undo all the this part here um, you don't need to go too far oh, man, it's dark. you don't need to go too far so instructions All right pull the vents out they just pull out they literally just pull out you pull them out um, and there's two screws yeah take the two screws out um, then you undo these pull them off they literally pull off one two three four five six they literally pull off um, and then there's uh, these uh, bolts at the back, or nuts at the back here. You just get a set of a long low screwdriver and just gradually turn them out. It takes uh, probably five minutes to take all those four out. So don't rush because otherwise it becomes a pain. You buy these aftermarket things that fit around um, stereo. Sorry, it's dark. I don't know why it's so dark. Um, anyway, you can buy aftermarket. You get these off eBay. Um, you can also upgrade to your clock or whatever, but this is an S pack, so I've already got it. Um, so you pull the old tape deck out, and you'll see there's the four wires, and you'll see it pretty straightforward. You just got to work out with a multimeter which wires which. Um, you just the speakers are here; they're easy to get out. Just there's there's three one two three screws to get that side one out. The back's pretty self-explanatory. Um, so and you got your aerial power supply as well um so it depends if you had electric aerial or not but if not you got to run power from your electric aerial into here as well as your aerial supply um so yeah pull that out pull that out and it should all come out if you want a bit more room you can jump off here now the other thing they need power supply to them they need um accessories power to them and permanent power the old tape deck does not have permanent 12 volt supply so you've got to jump off that so all i did was jump off the back of the power of the the light the the sorry the the clock and uh that was pretty that was pretty easy 
So jump 12 volt permanent supply off that and you've already got the accessories apply you've already got the four speakers oh yeah four speakers are already there as well um yeah like i said just get a millimeter just go figure out which wire goes to which which one which speaker on the tape deck it's just there it's like there to there there to the back it's really quite straightforward um or you could just play around for half an hour and work out which ones which speaker does what um, but I personally think that's a waste of time. Um, right, so with the aftermarket thing, these don't fit very well. So you've got to find your own way to mount it. I've had to screw them in temporarily like that. That's because I've got to come up with a better solution, which I haven't worked out yet. I'm just going to put some clips in the back of this so it all comes in nicely. Um, yeah, and then you just basically put it all back together. This all slides in. There's a little spot in the back. They all slide back into itself. And it works well. And then you just reverse everything and put everything back together. So there's this main surround around the back here. You don't need to pull out all the main surround. You'll see there's bolts here and there and all this to pull it out. You don't need to get to that. It's easy. You don't need to even pull this out. Um, right, that's electric aerial. So... The electric area will come in with a, you know, come in with the instructions and everything you need. Um, so all I did, I, I pulled the wheel out. Um, under there, there's a plastic uh, cover and there's two little flips on it. So you just bend the little tabs and then you just got to muscle the plastic thing out of the way. It'll, it'll move, it just takes a bit of a fight. And that's where you'll access the old aerial. Um, manual electric, whatever it is, and then if it's a oh, obviously an old electric, you just change the wiring. Um, check 12 volt, check the ancillary uh, accessory supply, um, and and uh, there's a ground as well, negative. Um, so I changed electric to electric, um, so I already had everything already there. So if not, what you're going to do? There's a grommet. On the underside of that, there's a grommet that goes into the um, passenger footwell area. Um, you'll have to push the power supply through the grommet, as in the cables. And there's a lovely little tray right here. It follows literally, you don't need to pull anything, dash out, nothing. And you have lovely power, and it just when you're doing this tape deck, you just run the cable right up there, and away you go. It's, it's bloody brilliant, it's really good. You don't need to pull anything else apart. Now, the old one may have an uh, aerial that's already got a um, connector in there, so you might not have to replace the whole aerial too. So have a look under here first before you do anything. Um, yeah, and obviously give her a bit of a test run. Uh, so you obviously have to bolt it down. Um, the instructions tell you what to do. It tells you you've got to secure it and find a good earth for it so that the actual body of the electric aerial, which sits about there, has to be mounted um, securely. Otherwise, it wanders up at stupid angles like that. So, um, anyway, it's a good little add-on. Um, so, let you have speakers. That's about all I did. It was about four days work actually it was quite a lot of work for me for me but only did like four hours a day so and i was pretty pertinent and i, and I didn't look on any videos on how to or anything i just winged it it'll be fine um so i would suggest use this use this advice now the other thing the paint does very well is if your door cards are looking a bit old um here or wherever it's looking a bit old tell you what that um paint does good stuff this was all black all worn out and all i did was just give her a light couple of coats and oh, old. she's uh looks bloody brand new um uh, what else did i do i think i think that's about it uh, that i did yeah anyway um, I hope that helps you. I hope that gave you some information on it. Um, yeah, and that was it. Oh, sorry, bonnet. Yeah, I did this too. Gosh, I replaced the, the, the bonnet insulation on here. So I did that as well. That, that's stuff you can buy pretty easy too, pretty cheap. It's uh, fantastic stuff. Um, and it made look a million bucks. So anyway, there's the old girl's engine. So here, big turbo. Yeah.